So today I'm going to be talking about migraine associated vertigo or some people know it as migraine variant vertigo. Um, it's basically a migraine with a variant. Some people get all sorts of different symptoms but today I'll be talking about my symptoms and about how I led up to having a full-blown migraine associated vertigo attack. Um, about a year and a half ago I woke up with spinning vertigo. Um, I couldn't move my head. Uh, all I could do is sit with my head in a completely upright position without moving it. Because every time I moved my head it would start to spin and uh, I'd feel very sick. And that lasted for half a day. And then it took about two weeks for the residual dizziness to wear off. And after that I had attacks of it probably every, probably every six weeks or so, right up until... I had my full blown attack and uh, with those little mini episodes I wouldn't have any more spinning vertigo but I would get uh, very very swimmy in my head it felt like everything was moving in slow motion um, it wasn't too bad at that point um, but looking down made it worse looking up made it worse um, just generally moving my head too much or jumping up or down or anything physical that I was doing would make things worse. Um, so I went to my doctor and I was uh, diagnosed with something called BPPV which is benign paroxysmal uh, vertigo and they said that I had to perform something called the Epley manoeuvre to move these what they thought were little crystals in my ear to move them back into their right place. So I started to do the exercises and they didn't really make too much of a difference. I still felt, you know, swimmy and there's nothing I could really do about it. Nothing changed it. The exercises didn't really help. Um, so right up until I have my full-blown attack, I was still doing those exercises and I was still getting attacks every six weeks or so, but I didn't really know what it was. And I, I trusted my doctor that they knew what it was, but it turns out they didn't. Um, so I'm going to end my first video here and this is just a basic introduction into myself and, and, and my, my condition. So in my next video I'm going to be talking about what happened when I went into full blown migraine associated vertigo and I had a full on attack which lasted for, it's been just over a year now and I'm just coming out the other side of it. So basically I'm doing this video because I don't want anyone to ever have what I've had it has it slapped the life out of me in some ways. I become very down, depressed, housebound, bedbound at times for about three and a half months at a time. I was I was bedbound for a long time, um, and I just don't want it to happen to anybody else. So, if you've got any unexplained dizziness or you're having dizzy spells and you don't know why, not many doctors know what migraine associated vertigo is. Um, it's 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 just not known. Some some doctors don't even believe in it. So, if you can get yourself to a good neurootologist, not a neurologist, a neurootologist, and they will be able to help you, and they will know what your your problems are. But the doctors, like I say, will misdiagnose you. Even ENT doctors will just misdiagnose you because they they've never heard of MAV either. So, okay, so I'm going to end my first video here, and um, hopefully you will be able to find some help from this and uh, and like I say I don't want anyone else to ever have to go through this so if I can help someone then I've done my job basically so nice to meet you all and and hopefully you will join me in my next video